Hi, I'm Sam. I'm from Bridlington and I had a motorbike accident on the 26th of June 2013, which resulted in me losing my leg. I was knocked off my motorbike by a car on my way home from work and subsequently airlifted to hospital and put in a coma for a week. And I then spent the next nearly two months in hospital. I broke my left femur, right clavicle and scapula, seven ribs, two vertebrae and my thumb. At first, when they told me I was going to lose my leg, it didn't really register. But I've always just been like outgoing and able to go do what I want. It was a big change for me not being able to move or walk or anything. I hated being in a wheelchair. But I went and got a prosthesis from the NHS. When I, when I eventually was allowed to start walking on it, it felt like a bit of a, like a personal victory sort of thing, like I was getting somewhere. But it, it was real painful all the time, like every step hurt. And, like, I, was, I was pleased because I was doing it, but I was wondering when it was ever going to stop hurting. Fletcher's got me an interim payment so that I could go to pace rehabilitation while my claim was ongoing and get proper legs. And that really helped. They also put me through a bit of physio. The legs were so much more comfortable. There was so much more I could do. That was when I really felt better. I was actually walking and I wasn't in agony. From then, I was a lot happier. I, you know, I was getting on with my life a bit more. I felt a bit more like in, in control, you know, like a bit more independent. Quite early on when we realised how bad it was, and my sister checked my motorbike insurance to see if I had any sort of legal cover and, and where we would stand. And so then my sister rang up Fletcher straight away and Louise and Kirsty come to see me in hospital. From then on, I was just always in touch, was always like building the case up. I, I didn't even think about looking at other companies just because the Fletcher's team were brilliant with me. You know, I felt comfortable straight away. It was always on the other end of the phone. I knew that if I wanted to ring them, I could ring and I would always get a response. If anyone ever had a, a motorbike accident that I knew, I would definitely, definitely put them in touch with Fletcher's. I would strongly advise them not to go with anyone else just because it's been that worthwhile for me. I didn't think I was going to get anything like, you know, what I finally did. You know, I was so happy and I know that the team worked very, very hard to get me what they did. You know, and I, I really appreciate that massively. It sounds, it sounds like a cliche, but obviously when something like this happens to you that affects your whole entire life, turns it upside down, it makes you realise what's important. You know, I was in a factory for working for 10 years and now it's, you know, this has given me the opportunity to pursue my dreams really, you know, at least do something that I want to do. I, I will eventually get back on a motorbike. I, I still like them. I know that the accident wasn't my fault. I've sort of moved on to helicopters for now. <laughs> You know, I'll definitely get back on a bike, but it's not top of my list at the moment. I've always fancied flying. I thought I'd enjoy it, and I thought helicopters would be quite a cool thing to do. And I know that there's like a massive range of jobs and places to go and stuff like that, so... You see the world from a different point of view, don't you? Like, you're flying over a beautiful coastline and fields, and the scenery is just amazing. It's like, the views are just unreal. I really have enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to getting my private licence. Eventually, I'd like to fly for the air ambulance which is like a few years down the line, like you need a lot of experience. I feel like because the air ambulance came for me, probably without them, I probably would have died in that time. It's like going in full circle, you know, they've come to save me and then hopefully one day I will come and save someone else. I feel like maybe I'll be giving someone back a bit, you know, it'd be a fulfilling job for me, I think.